Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Gounod's Romeo et Juliette with conductor Placido Domingo, which was live from the Metropolitan Opera House. I was really excited to catch the final radio broadcast of the Metropolitan Opera House for the season of 2017 to 2018 because Charles Castronovo and Eileen Perez were the headliners of this illustrious cast. And I'll gladly talk about them right now, starting off with Charles Castronovo as Romeo. I cannot tell you how much I love this gentleman, not only in terms of how dashing he was in this particular character, but also due to his awesome and absolutely unparalleled vocal gifts. He certainly kept his round, rich, voluptuous, and virile lyric tenor timbre, which also has the color of either a spinto tenor or a dramatic tenor to the greatest of his abilities. And for that, he continued to allure me in everything he accomplished as Romeo. I loved his renditions of Ange Adorable and even A Levetoi Soleil, in which he was able to sing with such clarity, purity, and so much masculinity that he had me eating out of the palms of his hands. And of course, his chemistry with Eileen Perez as Juliette was absolutely amazing. So I'm not going to mince words here. Charles Castronovo did such a splendid job as Romeo that I was completely enthralled with everything he had to accomplish. So, kudos to you, Mr. Castronovo. You certainly managed to be as unparalleled and absolutely amazing as a singing actor as you've always been. Accompanying him as Juliette was Eileen Perez, who was, as always, gorgeous, and absolutely pristine, not only as a singer, but also as an actress. She was able to make Juliette come alive as a character, all thanks to her lyric soprano voice, which can also hit some of the high notes of a coloratura soprano, and of course, her overall versatility. She definitely knew how to use her great vocal gifts to the best of her abilities, and for that, the results were absolutely phenomenal. She was able to sound so girlish in A Je veux vivre, and even so poignant in her poison aria, Dieu que me frisson de mes veines, making her Juliette absolutely enthralling to listen to. Joshua Hopkins was a handsome, dashing, and noble Mercutio, with his focused, and absolutely fine lyric dramatic baritone voice, he really knew how to bring out the best out of this character. He had an innate sense of theatricality that I was completely immersed with everything he had to accomplish as Mercutio. His Mab aria was absolutely well sung as it was vivacious and also virile thus making him an absolutely accomplished singing actor. Laurent Nauri was an absolutely brilliant Lord Capulet, as he's always been. He sounded very paternal in this particular character, but he also sounded strong and mighty, like a true nobleman. And of course, I can never go wrong with his rendition of the couplet, Allons, jeunes gens, allons, belles dames. He was absolutely wonderful in that particular aria that I was really immersed with everything he accomplished. And he was also, as always, charming as an actor. As I stated before, he made Lord Capulet not only paternal, but also strong in his own special way. Maria Zifchak was a round and rich Gertrude, the nurse. With her amazing gifts as a singing actress, she knew how to make this character role come to life. She had such a burnished timbre found in her lyric dramatic mezzo voice, and for that, she was able to have me eating out of the palms of her hands, all thanks to her innate gifts as an actress, and of course, 
her unparalleled talents as a singer. Bogdan Volkov was a charming and absolutely handsome Tibalt. And this young lyric tenor certainly has a brilliant future ahead of him. First of all, what I noticed about his voice is that it is a reedy and absolutely brilliant instrument. He was able to sound so focused throughout all the registers, and for that, his vocal gifts were absolutely brilliant for someone who is still at the height of his powers. I cannot wait to see where his career will go because, as I stated before, he has a brilliant future and he has loads of potential to sing all of the great leading tenor roles. Karine Duché was brilliant as Stefano. She not only hit the low notes really well, but her high notes were gleaming and absolutely beautiful, especially evidenced in her solo aria, Que fais-tu, Blanche Tourterelle, in which she sang with such mellifluousness and beauty that she caught me at the edge of my seat when she opened her mouth to sing. She was absolutely wonderful and endearing in this role that I have to salute her for everything she accomplished as Stefano. Quang Chulun was a fine and absolutely solid brother Laurent. With his trademark basso cantante voice, he certainly knew how to bring out the paternal nature of this particular character. Yes, his voice is a little bit vibrato-y, which should come off as no surprise because he has been singing for many, 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 many years. But I still have to give Mr. Yoon lots of credit for bringing this particular character to life, all thanks to his innate theatricality and, of course, his fine vocal gifts. We also had such excellent singing to be found in Tony Stevenson's characterful Benvolio, Bradley Garvin's Virile Paris, Jong Chol Cha's absolutely handsome Gregorio, and Kevin Short's majestic and tall Duke of Verona. So overall, the singing was absolutely phenomenal all the way through, especially when you have such wonderful headliners like Charles Castronovo as Romeo and Eileen Perez as Juliette. These two were the absolute standouts among all the performers, and for that, everything they did in terms of their chemistry, their individual talents as singing actors, and of course, their great and unparalleled artistry certainly made them shine like the brightest of stars. And the conducting done by Maestro Placido Domingo was absolutely well done. He made sure that the orchestra went together. There was not one moment where I felt bored. And of course, the chorus and orchestra of the Metropolitan Opera House were, as always, absolutely amazing. So overall, with such grand soloists like Charles Castronovo and Eileen Perez, and equally fine conducting done by Placido Domingo, this was definitely a wonderful send-off to the Mets 2017-2018 season. And I cannot wait for the new season to come because the Met Live in HD 2018-2019 season certainly has a lot of wonderful operas to offer. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in next time for another review. So until then, have a great day, everybody, and do enjoy this lovely spring.